Let's talk about acoustic guitars and especially those very annoying squeaky sounds. Those finger squeaky guitar sounds can get very annoying at some point. So what I'm gonna share with you today are pro tips on how you can remove and control those finger squeaky acoustic guitar sounds when recording and mixing. Hey, what's going on? Chris Salim here from Mixdown Online. Now, let's jump right in and talk about those annoying squeaky acoustic guitar sounds. Okay, so first, when we talk about those sounds, we're talking about something that is, to a limit, natural and part of the guitar sound and guitar performance, because we're talking about the sound that fingers are gonna produce when sliding on the strings, especially when going from one chord to another that are maybe further away. You know, you can end up with like those slides that can produce squeaks. So it is normal to a limit. What is not normal is to have them way too loud and that can be very annoying and distracting when, you know, when recording and especially when mixing an acoustic guitar part. So what I'm gonna show you today to start with is some techniques that you can use while recording guitar, whether you're recording your own, your own playing as a guitar player, or you're working with a guitar player in the studio. Then we're gonna jump in Cubase and I'm gonna share with you some very cool mixing tips that you'll be able to use on your side to control those guitar squeaks in the mixing session. Now let's look at what can be done in the recording stage. We're first gonna listen to a guitar recording that has a lot of finger squeaks. As you can tell, some of those guitar squeaks are kind of loud. Something that can be done when you're recording a guitar part that has a lot of squeaks, you can ask your guitar player or yourself, if you're the one playing the guitar, to adapt his or her playing while recording the guitar part. So putting a bit less pressure on the fingers while sliding from one chord to another. And this is where a lot of squeaking uh, are produced by just going from one chord to another that is like further away. Chances are that you're gonna end up with a finger squeak at this point. So just by removing just a bit of finger pressure of the strings by going from one chord to another, will remove or attenuate the guitar squeaky sound and you'll end up with a more cleaner performance. Now, a second thing that can be done while recording is to maybe change the voicing of the guitar part that is producing some squeaky, annoying sounds. So try to go with a guitar voicing where the chords are gonna be near the same location on the guitar neck. So this way you'll avoid moving your fingers up and down the neck. So you'll end up with less squeaking. And this, of course, if the music arrangement allows it. You know, at this point, it's also a personal choice, but it's an option. Now for recording tip number three, to remove squeaky acoustic guitar sounds, is to use baby powder on your fingers. Yes, you heard me, baby powder. As you can tell, this is a very old bottle that has been in the studio for years. Okay, now let me explain why baby powder can be an option to remove finger squeaks. Finger will produce acidity. Uh, you can get your fingers way too humid, okay? So they can get wet and sticky. Um, and that can produce also some squeaky sounds when playing acoustic guitar. So by adding a bit of baby powder on the tip of your fingers, I said on the tip of the fingers, you don't need to swim in powder, you know? So basically baby powder will remove acidity off your fingers and will keep them dry, which is gonna reduce the amount of squeaky sounds. Now, this is not a perfect solution. Sometimes it works very well, sometimes a bit less. Uh, in my opinion, I think a blend of maybe, you know, the baby powder thing, if you're dealing with extreme squeaks, uh, on top of using a proper recording technique, like removing the pressure off your fingers when sliding from one chord to another is gonna be the way to go. But 
what if you end up with a recording that already has some guitar squeaks in it that you need to deal with? Let's jump in Cubase and look at what can be done in the mixing stage. But first, let's talk about the sponsor of this video, Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community that offers thousands of inspiring classes for creative and curious people like us. You will find topics including music production, illustration, photography, video production, design, fine art, marketing, freelance, and more. So if you want to learn a music instrument like the piano, the guitar, bass, or you just want to dive into video production, graphic design, photography, uh, video editing, Skillshare is an amazing amazing option. On my side, since I put my hands on the Microfreak synth that I have right here, I've been wanting to improve my knowledge on sound design and synthesis to be able to be more creative using these types of synths and create my own sounds. So I decided to jump on Skillshare and look for a class on synthesis. I ended up on a class by Jason Allen on using synthesis for sound design and production. And I'm telling you, it is quite amazing and helpful. What I like about Skillshare is that they focus a lot on learning. So that means no ads whatsoever. So they're always launching new classes on a regular basis so you can keep your focus on learning and be creative. And the cool thing is it's only $10 a month with an annual subscription. The first thousand of my subscribers to click the link below will get the free trial of the premium membership so you can get a chance to explore your creativity. Thank you Skillshare for sponsoring this video. Now, back to Cubase. Now I'm gonna share with you three things you can do during mixing to attenuate those guitar squeaks that are quite annoying. So let's re-listen to the problematic guitar take where there was a lot of squeaks going on so we can fix it up. There's a lot to deal with here. Now, what I'm gonna show you can be done on most DAWs and also on other versions of Cubase, so to the exception on one of the tips I'm gonna share with you. But I'm gonna start by doing it the manual way, okay, which is a very clean way to do it. So let's identify one of the tweaks. Okay, so you can actually see it here, visually speaking, when you look at the waveform. So I'm just gonna use my selection tool, select that part, split that into its own event by clicking on Shift and X, and then you just bring that down, you know, to X amount of dBs. Now I just tamed down the level of the squeak itself. But there's still that high frequency thing going on that I kind of don't like. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to, you know, keep that, um, that event selected. I'm going to click on F7, open the direct offline processing, click on plugin and look for an EQ plugin. I'm going to go with frequency, which is part of Cubase Pro. And I'm just going to try to figure out which frequency range caused me the problem. <laughs> pretty obvious it's this one right here. We can actually visually see it. So if you have this kind of graphic uh, type EQ, this is gonna work best. So I'm just gonna tame this down. Okay, now the reason why you can hear it in loop, it's because the audition loop is active. Okay, so I think this is gonna work well. Let me just increase the size of the Q. All right, so let's listen in the context. Now that is way better. That sounds very smooth. Cool, so let's do the next one. There you go, it's right here. So now I have a shortcut to a macro that is gonna actually split my selection and also bring down that uh, new event, which is gonna look like this with one click, which is quite nice. I actually use the same macro to uh, manually DSing a vocal. Uh, so if I go down to my key commands, you have this DS macro, uh, which includes all of those commands. So if you wanna take note, just pause the video at this point. Okay, let's continue. Yeah, so I think this one, if I just bring it down just a bit more, I think that's good. I think that's pretty good. And let's move to the next one. So let's listen to the final result.
not too bad. So it does the job pretty well. There's a bit of tweaking that I would have to do. Uh, but you know, you get the idea. This is how you can manually tame down those squeaks. Now I'm not removing all the squeaks. I'm just making them a bit more quieter. The reason is I want to keep that acoustic guitar performance to sound natural. If I remove all the squeaks, that guitar performance is not going to sound natural. So that's why I'm leaving a bit of tweaks on it. It's a bit like a vocal recording where you have a lot of breath between lines, for example, uh, that you want to just tame down and not actually remove them all, you know, so because you want to keep that performance to sound natural. So that's why I'm doing it this way. Now that is an option. You can also do the same thing with automation and just automate an EQ plugin and, um, you know, volume automation or something if you want to do it this way. I kind of like it doing it by splitting all those uh, events, but you can easily do the same thing uh, using a volume automation and EQ automation. Now for the next tip, this one is unique to Cubase 11 Pro and the tool I'm going to be using is Spectra Layers 1. So I'm going to select my event and we're back to the original squeaky performance and I'm going to go uh, on top under audio, go down to extensions and the Spectra Layers. If you don't see Spectra Layers and you have Cubase Pro 11, you will have to install it first and then you will see it under extensions. So I'm going to select it and it's going to open in the lower zone. I'm just going to bring my lower zone a bit wider and this is what I get. So what I'm going to use here is the eraser tool. I'm actually doing the same approach as I did in my DSing video. I'm just going to detect the squeaks and bring them down with the eraser tool. So uh, my eraser is at the size at 47. I'm just going to bring it down to 35 pixels. Attenuation is at 7 dB so that's good. So let's have a quick listen. Let me just bring that a bit more wider. Okay, now you can actually see the squeak right here, okay? I'm just going to bring it down. So I'm just going to click, you know, and the more I click, the more uh, reduction I'm going to get. That's actually very impressive. I can actually tame down anything else that I think is part of that squeak sound. That's interesting. Let me check here. I like that. Okay, let me bring this one down as well. Hmm, that's pretty cool. Okay, this one is a bit louder. That is acceptable. I like that. Wow, that's a big one. Let me tame this one down as well. Not too bad. So let's listen from the top. It does a very good job. So that is one option. Now to option number three. You can use a denoise plugin like the RX Pro guitar denoise that I have right here. So uh, this one will actually do a similar thing. It's going to detect all these squeaks out of the guitar performance and it's going to try to tame them down according to the parameters you are playing with on the plugin itself. And this is going to be done more in a automatic way. So let's try it out. Okay, so now I'm going to bring the sensibility up and reduction as well. It does a very good job. Now I am overdoing it so we can hear the effect. Um, and you can actually, with this plugin, you can monitor what you're actually removing. So this is what I'm taming down. You 
know, now I'm overdoing it. You're kind of hearing some buzzing effect. You know, so you get the idea. Now, the advantage of using a plugin like this one, it's super fast. You know, you just take the time to uh, to get to the sweet spot and you're good to go, uh, opposed to doing everything manually or using spectral layers. However, depending on the type of production you're mixing, if the acoustic guitar is the main element of the mix, you're probably gonna get optimal results doing it manually than using a plugin. But if the acoustic guitar is not necessarily the main feature of the song in the production, and it's more in the background, using a plugin is gonna work well. So there you go, my friends. Those are the tips I wanted to share with you on how to remove or attenuate those finger guitar tweaks. Now, feel free to leave your comments or questions down below, or if you have any other tricks and tips you wanna share with us on this topic. And also, share, like, and subscribe to the channel if you're new you here that helps the channel a lot until next time take care and see you